This video shows you the different options available when importing data into WebCRM. If you want to import data into WebCRM, you can do this by preparing your data in an Excel spreadsheet. You can import multiple spreadsheets each with different data targeted to the same or different areas of WebCRM. There are some basic rules you must observe for your import to be successful. If you have any doubts or questions, please contact us to check. You need to ensure the data you wish to import is in your spreadsheet. Certain information is mandatory in order to save or update records. For example, to create a person in WebCRM, you have to include a surname. For a B2B system, you have to include an organization name or ID number. Other missing data, i.e. postcode, etc., may not be so important and may be missed out, provided the correct import settings are selected. In addition, if you are importing against configured drop-down lists in WebCRM, you must ensure that your matching data is spelled and formatted in exactly the same way, including capitals. As WebCRM will not allow duplicate organizations, if you want to create or update branches of the same organization, you need to use the Divisions field option in your system. If your data contains a duplicate organization name with different addresses, but does not have a separate column or divisions, simply create one and enter data to identify each separate division. This will then create organizations with the same name, but different addresses and different contacts, etc. When your data is ready, you need to save your Excel spreadsheet in CSV format. If you're a Mac user, you need to ensure it's Microsoft CSV, not the Mac version. Then, within WebCRM, click on Configuration, Data Import, and upload your file. Once uploaded, you are taken to the Import Validate tab. Here, you can select the areas of WebCRM you want to update, i.e. organizations, persons, activities, etc. Tick what you need, and then select, and then save settings. In the example, we are importing against organizations and persons. Once saved, you will now see how many headers and rows of data you are going to import. Click the option to Map Data. This takes you to the Map Data tab. You can now decide which WebCRM fields need to be populated and or updated by which column header in your uploaded CSV file. In this example, Norway has been selected against the relevant WebCRM field. If all data to be imported have the same parameter for one field, then select Same Value for All. As an example, all the organizations may have status Identified. When you have mapped all relevant organization data, you move down to Persons, which in this example is the other area selected for import. Now you need to select data relevant to Persons. You will note that the full name is in one field in the Excel sheet imported. As default web CRM asks for first and last name in two separate columns. This, however, is easily solved by first clicking Save Settings and selecting the Import tab Create Mode. Here you can select to import full name instead. Click Save and return to the Map Data tab. You will now notice that you can import full name instead. As a further example, you may wish to import data which creates and or updates from another system, i.e. accounts. To enable this function, you need to create at least one integration field. This can be created in Configuration Custom Fields Organizations. Scroll to the bottom of the page and you will see a further eight potential fields which can be used to integrate with other systems. Here you can see an example for debtor number with a limit of 5 to 20 characters. When you import, you can now choose to use this field as the unique key field. This option is available in the Create Mode Import tab. You can check that you have mapped all your data as WebCRM automatically numbers each column header available. Simply count that you have mapped all the ones you need. You can ignore any that you don't want. 
Then click Save Changes and you're ready to import. To run your import, click Start Import. The time taken to run your import will vary depending on how much data you have uploaded. You can view the progress by clicking Status on the import page. Once the import is finished, you will see a summary of created and updated records. If errors have occurred, you can open the error report, which explains in detail what has been missed.